what you'll need for this is merino wool rovings a plastic spray bottle soap that has the same pH level as your skin which is 5.5 hot water and bubble wrap start off by taking your plastic spray bottle and your soap and squeezing some of the soap into the bottle then set your tap suit to really hot water and fill up your bottle you may also need a pair of scissors some people say that you shouldn't cut the merino wool that you should tear it with your hands instead I've tried both and I don't really think it makes a difference so just go ahead and use whatever you are comfortable with now to set up Lay out your bubble wrap with the bubbles upwards and then you need to find something to make the bubble wrap stay in this position. So I use some kind of heavy furniture to keep it down on both sides, otherwise it's going to be like sliding all over and you're going to be super annoyed. So I'm going to use our bed. That'll keep that side in place and then I can just either sit on the other end of the bubble wrap or just put some other piece of furniture on there. Get your merino wool rovings out and now you have to kind of decide what length you want your dreads to be. Um, they do shrink a little bit um, after you've made them they kind of swell up and shrink a little bit so they will become a little thicker and a little shorter than um, how they look when you make them, so keep that in mind. So out of this one pack, I am going to make long ones, meaning that I'm just going to cut this in half, and yes, I'm using the scissors now for this. Put one half aside for now, and then divide this half into two. The wool tears pretty easily, so just be gentle on your hands. and then lay that one half aside and then start working on this one. If you cut your ends like I've done just now, you end up with these sort of um, fat, stubby ends. Um, if you want your ends to be more like thinning out into a, a point, what you can do is just take your... Um, I'm not going to do that now, but I'm just going to show you. So what you can do then is just take this apart into two and then layer it like this, so you have a little bit sticking out of the one half, then it will become a little bit pointy. But I don't mind the slightly chubby ones, I think they're quite cute. So here's what you do. Get your spray bottle and spray. And then you roll. sound is quite horrible, but you know, that's how it is. If you really can't stand the sound, then you can use a towel instead of the bubble wrap. I just find that the bubbles kind of help because they work sort of like fingers. You can make the rovings going like this too, but I don't know, I just 
think this is better. So you'll need to keep rolling for maybe five minutes per bread. Otherwise they're going to open up. And remember, yeah, this looks thin now, but it's going to swell up a little bit once it dries. If you tug at your dread a little bit and it still opens up, that means you have to keep rolling. But if it doesn't open up, then you are good to put this aside. And if you can keep the dread hanging overnight to dry, that is the best way, I'd say. <laughs> So here is what the dreads and tubular crin look like once they're braided in. So it's a massive, awesome volume. So if you guys have any more questions about how to make um, wool dreads, then go ahead and ask me. And have a happy new year. I'm gonna go put my New Year's makeup on and get ready for the evening. So I'll see you guys in 2014. Bye!